So a couple of years ago, I made this coffee table with the lift top. Oh, look at that. I made that and that and that and this and that and that and this and that. Kyle Toth made that. But this video isn't about me. This video is about me making these table legs. Originally, I made the legs out of aluminum and brazed them together, but I've hit it with a vacuum one too many times and it broke. Instead of repairing this, we're going to make the legs out of wood and we're gonna use four different joinery techniques. Each leg is going to use a different technique and you can choose the one that works best for you. Years ago, many of you warned me that the brazing aluminum would not last forever. And you were right, but this channel is all about experimenting, so let's go. All right, we're gonna take this beautiful piece of walnuts, we're gonna split it down the middle, we're gonna stack it on top of each other and glue it up for some nice fat legs. All right, so we're gonna take this other piece of beautiful walnut and make the stretchers on here. Got my fence sent to two and a half inches wide. So check this out. I could feel it tension back on the blade. Look how much stress and tension was in that. We can work with this, but I can't believe there was, there's that much stress. So I could feel that pinch back on the blade and I was a little concerned, but it was still going through. If you ever feel the wood pinching on there and it's hard to push through, stop what, what you're doing. doing. And in the place where you live. So now that's dry, I need to joint one edge. Don't have a joiner, so I'm gonna use my joining sled here. Now we're going to join the legs to the stretchers here. And it's gonna go just like this, but I don't want it to sit flush. I want it to sit back a little bit. So I have a couple of plywood spacers, which equals about a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to use that as my guide. On this first joint here, we're going to use the dowling jig. I have a video on this guy down below. For this next joint, I'm gonna use the pocket hole jig just to compare a couple different methods. Now I know a lot of you don't like it when I cover up the little chip exhaust port holes on here. But I think you can deal with it. A third method I wanna show for joinery is using the Festool Domino, and that uses some floating tenons and this fancy piece of machine.
And the fourth way to do the joinery for this is using some old fashioned hand tools. So let's dive in. Now it's time to put these two assemblies together and we're gonna use the joinery method that everybody loves the most. Pocket screws! Oh my God, he has a first tool domino and he's using pocket screws. Isn't he the one that made the, the, the dowling jig? How come he's not using the dowling jig? If you're not gonna use your Festool Domino, will you sell it to me? You know that pocket holes aren't gonna last four generations, and this is gonna end up in somebody's dumpster 200 years from now. Doesn't he have the K3 jig? How come he's not using that? I think his bit is dull. Cut. Everybody cut, everybody cut. Hey, hey. It's like this guy doesn't know what he's doing. You gotta put it on the right setting. So I can attach the top of the table to take a minute to tell you about who is sponsoring this video and today's sponsor is make something.tv yes that's me why am i yelling at you because on my website i have plans and patterns and books and t-shirts and sweatshirts and all my other videos that i've made all on make something.tv so check it out and stop yelling i'm not yelling <laughs> the coffee table top is finished with boiled linseed oil and polyurethane. This, I just, I need to get it done and I don't care if the tone of it is a little bit different. So we're finishing this with a couple coats of shellac. I'm not saying I'm the first one, but I'm the only one to ever do that. I refuse to say on camera that Festool stole my idea. If you want to support me and my show, visit patreon.com slash Pachudo. And I'd like to thank this week's top supporters, and that's Jonathan J. Katz Moses, Carl Brink, Glenn Rossiter, Adam Beckwith, Bill Deal, Megan Payne, Brian McKnight, Chad Forrester, and Timothy Allen. What do Patreon members get? Well, every week we do an extended vlog and we give away things that I make. Last week, we gave away this little art caddy, which I got to ship out yet. And the week before, we gave out some match fit dovetail clamps by micro jig every week we give away something new either a tool that i have laying around or something that we make here on the show so visit patreon.com slash pachudo now let's get back to the project and attach this tabletop There we go. There are many ways to do things in woodworking. And for this table, we use four joinery techniques, pocket holes, dowels, domino, and hand cut mortises. That's the great thing about woodworking is there's multiple ways to do things and you can choose the one that works best for you. I have plans for this coffee table. There'll be a link to that in the description down below. All the wood comes from KenCraft and the lift top mechanism comes from Rockler. And speaking of KenCraft, I'm doing a meetup there Saturday, June 3rd, 2017 from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. There's going to be door prizes and giveaways and demos and discounts and a good old fashioned meet and greet. So if you're in the Toledo area, come visit me at KenCraft Hardwoods in Toledo, Ohio, Saturday, June 3rd. Did you guys know that I also do an audio podcast with Bob Claggett from I Like To Make Stuff and Jimmy DeResta? We're up to like 120 episodes. We have a YouTube channel, we are up on iTunes and Stitcher, and we have a website. So visit makingitpodcast.com. That is it, folks. I hope you got something from this video. I hope you learned something. We put out new videos almost every Tuesday and every Thursday. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make, make something. Cheers.